Hello everyone, welcome to another Bible review. Today we're looking at the KJV Giant Print Center Column Reference Bible. This is, for all intents and purposes, a new Bible. Um, it is the premier collection, but we have not seen a premier collection from Thomas Nelson in quite a while in these translations. So we're basically seeing a new Bible. Very excited about this. We're going to be taking a look at this today. Just got it. Just took it out of the box. So first thing we want to do when we look at this is... Let's look at the box. So we have our uh, Giant Prince center column reference here. We have our side here. It says Black Premium Goat Skin. Center column. Same here. And there. And then when we look at the actual box, we have the features. It says we have a center column reference Bible. It says that it's premium goatskin leather, smith sewn, edge lined, uh, red under gold, art gilding, gilt line, stamped and perimeter stitched. It's the new comfort print typeface, 36 GSM European paper, black letter text, three three eighths inch wide ribbon markers, or about roughly 10 millimeters. If we're familiar with our, our metric system there for like the Allens or some of the other Bibles we see with the Beresford ribbons. Comprehensive center column cross reference system, generous yap, and a 12 point readable font size. So let's take a look at this guy. So the first thing, uh, looking at the box here, it's just a standard smooth factory box. It doesn't have the texture that we see from other some of the other smaller Bible publishers. It's just kind of a smooth paper covered box there. So we have that there. If we remove the box, we see that the Bible inside, it's just standard black inside, um, is kind of in a four piece wrap. It's not wrapped as uh, some of the others are where you have a like Holman, for example, or, or you know, any of the other ones, Allen, Schuyler, where they have the two-piece. This is kind of a fold over this way and then fold over from the front kind of deal. So we're going to take a look at this guy, and let's go ahead and open it. So, uh, So there's the Bible right out of the box here. It is very soft. Initial impressions here, very soft. Let's take a let's take a look at that grain in the goat skin. It's smell um, it smells a little chemically. Um, just that kind of new leather, but kind of mixed with that kind of chemically smell. Uh, that usually goes away after a day or two. Um, we see the spine here. There is no hubs. King James Version. And I'm noticing with the version here, the N is just a little not printed real well. But I'm not going to beat them up on that just yet. So uh, let's look at the, the gilding. And let's start looking at the dimensions here. So, spine dimensions, which is really the biggest thing that I see most people want to focus on. If I put my finger here, is right a little over an inch here. Looks like we're about one and almost one and a quarter, not quite. So, almost one and a quarter there. The Bible's right at, I'd say, about six and a half inches wide and I don't have the length with me so I'll update that in my notes so but the spine is about one and a half inches so if you want to know really how thick it is at the spine that's where we're at so that's the first thing we have to look at there so let's start breaking this guy open and taking a look at it so move this out of the way so if we open this up we do have, looks to be a leather liner. It is edge lined. Let's move this over. We do have our tooling on the inside. Got interior stamping. It says goat skin leather cover. And let's take a look at the corners. So here's our first corner. It's our next corner. Let's look in the back here, first corner, 
second corner. Corners don't look to be too bad, look like they're fairly well done. As I said, it is parameter stitched. The headband looks to be a black headband. A black headband. Yeah, black head and tail bands there. Three ribbons, looks like we have a two black and one red. Black, red, red. I mean black, black, red. You see there? So it is a Smithstone binding. Let's start getting into this and taking a look. So from the very first page here, wow, they really came in pretty far in tacking that first page, which I've seen a lot of people ask about this in some of the Bible groups. This is a feature in all edge line Bibles. You'll see the first couple pages stuck together, and that's just to have a little bit more to grip on by the leather to grab that book block. So we have Holy Bible containing Old and New Testaments, Authorized King James. Looks like we have our we have our letters to the reader, which is fantastic. And here's our first page. So it looks like we have a summary. The first part of Genesis focuses on the beginning. We have, so we have a nice kind of beginning summary. Then we have our center column references. And then we have the actual text itself. Now as far as opening flat on the first page there, looks like it's about all I got right now. So not totally opening flat on that first page. The red under gold looks to be very similar to that Cambridge kind of red under gold, kind of that salmony red. Let's go ahead and get these markers out. I like that it's not a standard red, but more of a whiny red. And here we go. So we can actually get into this and take a look. Looking at Psalms. The red is a very nice dark red throughout. We see the very first letter is capital is a kind of that camel capitalized notation. That seems to be prevalent throughout the Bible. A in center call references are here. Take a look at it. For a 12 point font, this seems kind of small to me. Let me go grab my all Bibles got here and let's see what the sheet says for my comparison purposes. They, according to the sheet, it's pretty much right on point. I guess I'm, these days I'm getting used to very large print. I love myself some giant print Bibles these days. So it looks pretty pretty much dead on for a 12 point using the All Bibles Bible Guide print guide. The readability seems to be fantastic though. It, you know, this is considered a large print Bible. It is very readable. I'm not struggling at all with my glasses. Um, Looking at all the features of the Bible, we do have uh, that beginning of the book outline here, a paragraph or so. We have our center column references. Let's go take a look at our maps. It looks like we have a, a basic concordance in the back. Looks like we have a reading plan. We have a one-year reading plan, Parables of Jesus Christ, and the Miracles of Jesus Christ. We have our maps, a note regarding the type, so it lets you know how the type was commissioned. This was a uh, 2K Denmark type set. It's used by other publishers as well. A, uh, a lot of publishers are engaging them to create typefaces for them. They make really nice typefaces. Um, so some notes about how they came about the, the, the new typeface. Uh, the maps, World of the Patriarchs, Exodus, Conquest of Canaan, Land of the Twelve Tribes, Jesus' Ministry, 
kingdom of David and King Solomon. Let's look at Jesus' ministry here. It has lots of notes as far as where Jesus was at at specific points. Uh, I really like the way it's laid out. Very nice map. Jerusalem in the time of Jesus and Paul's missionary journeys. Let's talk about the leather. So the leather feels actually, you know, there's been some other um, Bibles that have come out recently. One is the uh, the Humble Lamb Bible. Um, also, from a flapping standpoint, you may want to think about maybe an Omega from Crossway. This is nowhere near the niceness of the leather of the Omega. It does feel, though, about as thick, and it feels about as just... Almost as floppy, not quite as floppy, but it is very floppy. The leather does have a bit of a feel, thickness to it. Uh, we see there is some natural grain here. Um, it's nice. For what you're getting for this price point, uh, when I purchased these Bibles, they were around $100. I don't think that you can really buy a Bible like this for around $100. I think this is really kind of unparalleled. So to get a Bible with this nice a leather... Um, Nice, new, modern typeset. Art gilding. Interior stamp edge gilding. Um, the gilding is just flawless. Um, three well-done ribbons, and I like that they cut them straight and not at a bias because I don't like to worry about which way I'm turning my ribbon in my Bible. I like to just stick it in there and, uh, because for people who are kind of OCD, and I can be that way, I don't want one ribbon sticking one way and one another. Uh, I know that's just being probably really too OCD about it, but that's kind of a thing for me. I always like my ribbons cut straight. I really don't know what to say. It's a fantastic Bible. Um, I could see this heavily going into my rotation of Bibles. Uh, I could see even see me ordering another one. And adopting this is almost a daily reader. It's that well done. I mean, it's it's a beautiful Bible. I think for ninety nine dollars, this Bible is unparalleled. I really do. It's just for the, for the cost for what you get. I think this is the best value out there right now. Um, you can look at some other Bibles if you want to look at maybe a Schuyler Canterbury. Uh, the only thing you're going to get close to in this price point is to get it in a in their calfskin or their cowhide and. Uh, with their calfskin, it's paste down liner. Being that this is edge lined, I don't think you're going to find a Bible that's edge lined uh, that's this well done in a modern typeface. I really don't. This is just very well done. So let's just take one more look at it here. And uh, thanks for joining me, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, one more thing they said generous yap. It does have a little bit of a yap there. It's very nice. There we go. The new giant print, which giant for me, I think that's just loose. <laughs> I would say really large print. Uh, King James Version Bible from the new signature series. I got to say, I love this. This is fantastic. So thanks for joining me. And I'll tell you what, if you want to check out some cool groups on Facebook, you can join us in a group called Everything Bibles. We would love to have you. If you love Bibles, we're just a bunch of people who love Bibles. So come check us out. Everything Bibles on Facebook. Talk to you later. Oh yeah, and subscribe.